One of my previous clips explains simultaneous equations and the problems behind solving them. This clip is going to show you how to solve simultaneous equations by calculation. Here we have our two simultaneous equations, remembering that the y value here is the same here, the x value here is the same here. The problem that we have is that in each equation we have two unknown values, a y and an x, a y and an x, and we need to try and eliminate one of them by some means. So what we're actually going to do in this instance is actually subtract one equation from the other in a column method. I'm going to subtract y from y. Now I don't know what they are, but because they're the same value, that will give me zero. y take away y will give me zero. And that is equal to two lots of x take away one lot of x will leave me a single x on its own. And then one, this is a tricky part, one minus two, I end up with less than I started with, that actually leaves me minus one. What I need to do now is use my balancing the equation method. I'm going to add 1 to that side. Minus 1 plus 1 will give me nothing. But I must balance the equation and do the same to this side. So I'm going to add 1 here. So that will give me an overall answer of 1 is equal to x. And I have my first value. 1 is equal to x. So now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use my knowledge that I've found, x is equal to 1, into one of these equations to determine my y value. So, substituting my x is equal to 1 in there, quite simply, y is equal to 1 plus 2, so my y value is equal to 3. So I now have my two values. My y was equal to 3, and my x, I thought, was equal to 1. Now, there is a quick way I can check those. So now, as my final check, I can use my other equation and put these values into this equation, and it should work out. So, putting the x into here, x is 1, so 2 times the 1 is 2, add another 1 to it will give me a value of 3, and that's what I've said here. So in fact, my values are y is equal to 3, x is equal to 1 in this case. I hope that helps. Have a go at this one, which is slightly trickier. Pause the clip, and then I'll give you the answers. Now, for this example, again, I'm going to use subtraction. It is possible to use addition to eliminate one of the unknowns, but you have to try and have a little think about that before you launch yourself in there. Again, y take away y is going to give me 0. And that is equal, 5x take away one of them will leave me 4x. Minus 10 minus another 2 will leave me minus 12. Now I need to balance my equation again. I'm going to try and get rid of this first of all. I'm going to add 12 to both sides of my balance scales. This is my balance scale. Add 12 here. So I'm left with 12 is equal to 4x. But I just want 1x. So I need to divide this by 4. Dividing this by 4, well, they will disappear. Divide this by 4, and that will actually leave me an answer of x is equal to 3. Squeezing it on there, and there we are. So I'm going to substitute x equal to 3 into the easier, where I think anyway, the easier of the two equations, which I think was that one. So I'm going to put that into there. So 3 plus the 2 is going to be, give me a y value of 5. Now I'm going to check that in my other equation. Let's have a little look. So I'm saying that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. Let's see if this works out. 5 times the 3, well that's 15. Minus the 10, 15 minus 10 is equal to 5, which is what I've said here. So I know that this works out. I hope that helps.